I've always felt that, you know, with the, with the show jumping, you know, you can you can get an average horse to jump a clear round every now and then, which doesn't necessarily happen in the other phases. You can't completely over excel in that, and he just did it at the right time. There's been a lot of work, you know, and the answer is that a little bit is a bit out of your control. But all the ducks fell in a row today, and it's delightful with that. The last year, I've really tried to analyse his jump and the way he physically moves due to his confirmation and, and what we can do and Roland Fernieho uh, who I trained with in the show jumping he came up today um, I rang him last night and said you better get on up here we, we agreed we see how things went cross country as to whether he'd bother coming up and he was really helpful we gave him a jump this morning and um, but you know this is uh, the sort of result of you know the last year sort of really trying to get the best out of his jumping. With every horse you come and you hope to, you have an, a, a clear plan or something, I have a clear plan of what I want to do in all three phases and try not to think about the end result too much because if you nail the process, the result just happens. Um, and yeah, I'm delighted with him. I knew this today might be a defining factor for him. Um, and because of his very long open stride, you're trying to close it up but then not get time faults. And this course doesn't allow you to turn inside anywhere. So it was, you know, I was really pleased that he jumped well, but also didn't get time faults.